at uh, what I'm up to so far. So all the top is ready for finishing nearly. I've got a little bit more filling to do, but basically ready for paint coming out. Before I do that, I'm going to start some prep on this. So then I've always got something to fall back on. And as I'm moving forward, I'm dropping back as well, finishing. So let's have a quick look at this. Overall, doors are pretty straightforward. But what I need to do is sort out between the wood and the brick. So all this silicon around that corner there, not looking good. But it's up top that I'm more bothered about. So let's climb up. Let's take a look around how much it's cracking out. Silicon has been overlaid. It's all cracking out. So break all of this out and get rid of it. I've been raking it off back to here. You can see how it's come off this piece of wood and then off the brickwork there it's loose so a bit of a void behind so I'm going to prime this when it's dry foam it around this side this piece is sat on top of the frame with a rain deflector on so I've got putty on the end mastic that's failed probably cork but no foam so again remove it all dig it out and get some foam in priming any wood first I've worked across removing and what I have noticed is this woodwork has previously been stained when stained woodwork starts to develop cracks and gaps you can't see it so then the next step maybe is you either fill it all and sort it out or paint it and there I've got silicon just in that joint there's another joint there which has got cork over it which has started to crack because it's been getting moist behind it and then over this silicon what I've been taking off there is cork again silicon underneath so yeah remove anything that's bad break out those gaps and I'll get those filled using foam also there's a bit of damp coarse membrane here which is flush with the frame so that's not been helping at all so I'll just slightly cut that back a bit and then foam all the gaps right so I've decided to take this drip off see the silicon holding it, it was nailed as well but what the customer was saying they were getting water running down inside and taking it off I've discovered this in the frame so I'll address that get all this filled and either put the drip back or get something different I've cleaned this out and raked all the surface removing any of that silicon and two real things that were going on here the frame is so flush with that brickwork and also that damp coarse membrane right to the surface there running along the bottom there protruding out so I'll trim that back slightly well that's half the problem
See how flush it is there. Foaming and masked up. And already cut back. Taking it out. Down this side. So, anywhere that needs any pointing, I'll do, and then I'll prime up this woodwork, and it can get caught when it's all dry. Any big gaps on that door, any joints, I'll put some foam in. So while that's curing now, it's ready for a primer, just around the glass, the rest of the door is okay. I'm just in the process of removing the cement from up here so it looks like it's already been patched up there but inside up there is paper so remove it all and get it out and get it foamed it's all corked up and painted now that's not looking too bad. Hoping to do some painting today. See all this. Seeds. Take a look up here. Air is just thick with it. It's just blowing around. Oh, not much chance of getting any paint on today. Some more prep. Started some prep on this window. So main things are again cracks up fillets and get a blade right down there in the cavity. Bit of bead at the bottom once looking at rust and pins. But up here, thought I'd take a look at this little strip of wood. All the dirt there. So up here, again, this filleting, there's a big gap. So any mucks dropping down and going down behind here. So I thought I'd take it off. I don't want to take it off. So I'll to just get this out. So all we've got there now is a big big bead of silicon bit of timber there loose so we'll get the silicon out clean it all up prime it cleared off the silicon which was actually on the top of the frame so this gap there there was nothing sealing that so I managed to get a screw into this because all this is loose so I positioned it where I want it and a couple of spacers use screws so I can now foam this up just remove them screws and foam that patch well, get some in get it set in and get it dry first secure it started removing bits of foam I can sand all this down get these screws out and then just final fill along the top edge here any screw holes ready for priming and behind here I'm not sure could be cork so just see if we can get some of this out it's a great big gap behind see that there coming out a lot of moisture getting down so I think that could be caught quite brittle dry it's not um, putty so I'm guessing this feels soft I think the silicon just there sorry I think the silicon that's springy 
So I'm going to see if I can get this bead off. More just coming out. So I've got most of it out from down here. So like I say, moisture's been getting into the wood. That's wet. This end, you wonder why cracks like this appear. Well, it's not necessarily a crack, it's the joint. And water will be getting in and sitting in that joint and just blowing the paint off here. So you can't really get into that, it's quite tight. It's just where the water's pushing out. So I think I'm gonna to have to address all this. There's a great big hole running in there. So I think silicon. So see if we can get this off. If it comes off in one, it'll go back. If not, I've got a piece to go in. So what I'm doing with the scraper, so I'm just breaking the seal, getting it underneath the bead and only halfway along the bead, I'm not going up to the glass. Touch that glass, put any pressure on it, it'll break. So I'm just, just teasing it, just breaking the seal underneath. There's a pin there, so I'll only be able to do a little bit come to the other side and just keep working along feeding that just under the bead just tease it a little bit so to help get me scrape underneath the edge there I just drew me paint scraper along so cleared all the way along now managed to get me scraper underneath so now if I come to where the pins are, just there, just slip the blade in, again not too far, and just, just start to just tease around. It's lifting. So the next one. Not a lot of pressure, just again, just keep teasing it. That's coming. There's only three pins holding this. Okay. So, there for the magic. Not easy to see, but what I've done is fed my scraper in underneath that pin. So the pin now is on top of the scraper. So with a gentle tap, Just release that pin. It'll pop up and then I'll we'll just get me pincers. Just remove that. I'll try and do the rest. Uh, I've managed to get the bead off in one, get to some reasonable light. And we'll see how dark that is, how wet it is. Okay, so I'll let that dry out and then up here very very thin bead of silicon silicon there so I'll get rid of all that and we'll get it sealed up properly I've took off has dried but got split running along here with rot in it and here rot so overall it's not too bad but it's quicker and easier for me to just prime up a piece fresh piece and put it in so I've got one cut that's drying that can go in when a lot of that foam has dried back and I've cut back. So I'll probably start doing some pointing around the doors. Finish off a little bit of filling up there. I've done most of the prep on this window. A little bit of filling once doing at the top. I've 
got wet to primer now. So down here, dry, I primed where the beads sit in and I put the sealant in, making sure I get some in the corner and then slightly just onto the glass. Don't want to go too high with it. So bead tacks already in. We're knocking these pins in, hammer against the glass, slide in on the glass and just tap that home. Careful not to bruise the wood, I'll use a punch on that, that's the best way. If you try hitting that, you can hit the glass and break it, hammer against the glass. I really do need this wind to drop. Try and get some paint on.